Well, this is Jackson Buell, a little boy whose very life defies expectations. He was born with an extreme brain malformation. His own doctor calling him a miracle. And we first met Jackson 11 months ago. His family was amazed at his progress, but unsure of what life would be like him for him today with this very rare condition. Well, now, just weeks before his second birthday, Jackson is surprising even those who believed in him the most with all that he can do. He is a huge Jaguars fan, and we enlisted the help of Jags great Fred Taylor to share Jackson's inspiring story. My name is Jackson Buell. And there are a lot of pictures of me. People took so many, they didn't think they had much time. Unfortunately, there's no cure for uh, microhydrogen encephaly. It means my brain is about a fifth of the size it should be. In fact, they told us to simply take him home because they expected him to pass away. But we saw a strength right away. Those are my parents, Brandon and Brittany. Good job. They didn't have a lot to go off of when I was born. Are you the cutest baby ever? First month of his life, they had him hooked up to every single machine in court, in line, and whatever you could think of, because they thought he was going to need all these things. But had big faith. We believed for a while that and what the doctors told us would happen. And we were just ready to try and be prepared to lose our son. Now we just believe the sky's the limit for him. But look at the pictures of me. I got older, not just months, but years. Can you smile for mommy? Can you smile for mommy? No way. And I grew Seriously? from four pounds to 12. Oh, I love you too. I love you. I do. Yes, I see you. Blonde curly hair got so long, I had to have a haircut earlier this year. He shocks us every day. I sleep by myself in my own bedroom. Give mommy a kiss. Keep pushing. Here we go. Oh, good job. Here we go. And step by step, Give mama a kiss. You're doing really I'm well, figuring buddy. out how to get around the house. Keep pushing. Oh, oh my goodness. Initially, we thought that he was just going to be brainstem functions, which are just mostly control of respiration and heart rate and those types of things. That's my doctor, Carl Barr. Oh, you looking at mommy? Where are you going? If you look at literature that's available, you would say that it would be unlikely that he would survive to his first birthday. Certainly second birthday would be um, unusual. Oh, you love your rattle, don't you? Literally every day there's something new that he does and we are floored. And it's just so fun and exciting, the little milestones that he's meeting and talking and mommies and Addies <laughs> and hey, those are like his three favorite words. Hi, Jack. <laughs> I'm learning new things too. Jackson, you eating a cookie? How to eat by myself without a feeding tube. So yummy. And how to swim. Yeah, are you having fun in the pool? People ask us all the time, well, what's Jackson's prognosis? There is no prognosis one. anymore because he's already by far exceeded expectations doctors gave. I'm almost to my second birthday. No doubt there will be pictures of that. My parents will share them here. Baby, you having fun? Where I've got almost 400,000 friends. We started you know, petrified. We were scared. We were clueless and didn't know what to do, where to turn. We don't want the next family to have to start off that way. If they receive a diagnosis that's similar, we hope that they think of Jackson's story, know about it, they reach out to us or they find the resources quicker. I love you. I love you. <laughs> and we just want one more day, one more day for him to just wake up that day, be excited, be happy, 
and that Smiling. one more, and that one more person learns about Jackson's story and can take something from his story. My story is still going. His book's not written yet. And each day that passes is like me, another small miracle. He is such an amazing boy. And you know, as I was leaving uh, Jackson's home and after visiting with his family, I just couldn't help but reflect on how strong that little boy is. As a mom, he showed me just how resilient children can be. And his parents, wow, they have never given up hope. They don't hinder their son from doing anything. And they have such an amazing rock solid faith. And they want Jackson's story to inspire that same faith in others. And that's why uh, just this past spring, they launched the Jackson Strong Foundation to help other families and to share the belief that every life, every life has value and has purpose. And we have so much more about their foundation, about this amazing little boy and his amazing family on our website. But it is an ama truly an amazing story. You are exactly right. You do. My favorite line in there was like, he's still writing his own stories. His parents may not know what to expect, but his story is still being told. And this is such a rare condition, and that's what his doctors have told his family, that he literally is writing his own story. They don't know what tomorrow will bring, but they're treasuring every moment, and they're not going to stop him from doing anything, and they have faith that he'll be, over, be able to overcome all of the challenges ahead. That's right. Have to have faith. I can't wait to hear more about his yeah. family as he... We're going to continue to follow his amazing journey.